Hi guys, welcome to my home. So I'm sitting in a fairly boring area. As you can see, there's nothing decorated around me. And sometimes I'll go through this phase for a couple of days where everything's kind of a blank slate. It's that in between getting rid of the Christmas and the winter decorations and then transitioning into spring. And that's what I'm doing these days is just working on little areas here and there where I'm adding some spring cheer. And I just haven't gotten around to this area, but that will hopefully change soon. In this video, I wanna share with you some different little arrangements that I'm working on, little centerpieces for maybe the table or the coffee table, end tables. Uh, I know we always need new ideas, or I do at least, and I thought I'd share some of mine with you guys. But before I start, I just wanna tell you I am not an expert decorator. I just go by what I like to see together. I'm sure it's not everybody's taste, but it kinda of works for me in our home. And hopefully I can give you guys some ideas where you can just use simple things you may even have on hand sometimes to incorporate into a little grouping. My home decor always leans more on the simple side. I'm sure a lot of you, if you're decorating, you'd need to add a little more here and there to make it all pretty. And that's fine. We all have our different tastes. But for me here in our home, I can't stand it if something looks too busy, like it actually messes with my head. I really need to stick with neutral and just uh, not minimalistic, but just a little more than that. Often when I fix little centerpieces, I'll go by a grouping of three. I think that's a nice number for me to, to look at something, like three different items, maybe different textures, different heights, or different shapes. I admit I hesitated to even make this video because of the fact that I'm no pro at arranging things, but I thought if you guys are like me and it doesn't have to be all fancy or perfect, maybe I can give you some ideas. So that's my goal here. So let's get right to it. I love using plants to decorate with right now, especially being that we're entering into the spring season. Here I have a pothos plant. They're fairly easy to take care of. They don't need a lot of attention, and they're also okay with not being directly inside a window, which is nice. This birdcage I made a couple of years ago is just out of chicken fence. Basically just kind of created a cage shape. The nest I made using actual grapevines and the eggs and the little wooden stand and the bird all come from the peddler. They are a store here in the area that have amazing decorations and they also sell some online so make sure to check them out if you're looking for pretty decorations. This next grouping I may end up keeping on my kitchen table during the spring months. It's very springish. I started out with using a lid of an old cheese box. This came from an antique mall. I have a large glass vase that I just turned upside down, stuffed some faux greenery in it along with a bird's nest. I do use some fake plants if they look real enough for me. This little sage plant is one of my favorite faux plants. I think it looks fairly real. I have a white tin that I'll put it in. And of course, if there's a bird's nest involved, I think it looks good with a set of birds or just one bird even amongst the grouping. And these were some that I picked up in a thrift store and painted them white. Often I'll decorate in groups of three, but here I can't resist not adding a candle to this grouping. Here I have a eucalyptus lavender. Smells so good and springish. These are available on the Etsy shop, and we are getting some new candle sizes really soon, so watch for those, but right now we just have the larger sizes available. I have this random glass piece that came from an old canister that I used to have. I don't have the bottom part anymore but hung on to the lid, and I think it makes such a great topper for this upside down base. I like how it makes the piece look like an actual cloche. My glue gun is out in the Etsy shop right now, but usually I'll add a few glue dots to keep this in place. This next arrangement is really simple, and again, fitting for the spring season. And it also has an item included that is available on the Etsy shop. We started making these round wooden risers. I told John I want something on the Etsy shop that will always be available, that is just a go-to decorating piece. And often when I'm fixing groupings, I need something to just bring a certain item just up a little. And I think these are perfect. They turned out so cute. They're made from Aspen wood, and we just put knobs on the bottom for little legs. And you could, of course, easily make these yourself if you at all have some woodworking tools, uh, very simple. I'll show you guys quickly how this arrangement looks without the riser and then again with it. The picture is one that I had painted a couple of years ago and this plant is another one of the Pothos family. Um, it's not quite the same as the first one. This one's more variegated. I just love this color. And the candle is one from last summer, fresh cut grass. You guys can tell I really have some spring and summer fever going on here. I 
I think these old wooden boxes make such great decorating pieces. In this case, I have a Coca-Cola box. Uh, got it painted years ago. Uh, it used to be bright red. I, of course, didn't want that. So I just painted over it. And as you can see, it's kind of bleeding on the one side here. Eventually, I want to repaint it, reapply the decal. But for now, this will do. It works great to hold some books on a coffee table. And then this jar I also painted years ago and added the number four on the side. No specific reason, just like to see numbers at times on items. And this faux greenery is really pretty. I always like this color. It's one that I've had for years, not even sure where I got it. The next arrangement could be used on an end table or a coffee table. Really simple. I'm just using an old sign that I made a couple years ago. It's one of those shadow box signs. All it really needs is just a glass vase with some greenery in it. In this case, I'm just using fake ferns. I want to do a few displays that are fitting for a buffet in a dining room. Here is an idea for using a basket. Even though this basket is a little bit too big for my buffet, I think, um, I always like to see dishes in a basket. To me, it'll always look good to stick a plant in here too. And a tea towel. This bunny is an old piggy bank. I painted it a couple of years ago. I think I had used it in an Easter display. I think the spring and even summer season are so fitting to incorporate bunnies into decorations. I used another tea towel to bring the bunny up a bit. Here is another table centerpiece or possible buffet idea. Here I'm making another bird's nest just using some greenery and flowers uh, using some wire to fasten them together, kind of shape it like a nest. And then I have this dried brown, can't think of the name right now, but it's really fitting to use for a bird's nest. And I also have some eggs that I made a couple of years ago uh, during the Easter season. And I actually took real eggs and drilled holes in them and drained the inside, washed them out the best I could, and then sealed them back up. And I have kept these over the years and reuse them. I even had some colored ones uh, somewhere up in my storage. I couldn't find them. But here I'll just use a couple of the brown ones. The tea towel you may recognize from my Dollar Tree makeover video that I did. I'll use this as a table runner of sorts. picked up this fruit tray a number of years ago in a garage sale, I believe. And trays like this often make great holding containers for maybe books or, in this case, recipe books. A plant and a candle will look pretty on your countertop. And guys, I almost feel bad to even show you this candle. This is one of my summer favorites, and unfortunately we don't have it on the shop available just yet. It is coming soon. Peach nectar, oh, it smells so summery. We are making these wooden eggs that will be so fitting for the spring and Easter season. We will have a few color options, the first one being just plain with no finish on it at all, so you get to paint or stain your own egg. And the second option will be stained, it's a pretty aged oak color, and that is what this color is. And then also we will have this decal available, you can get it plain without any decal or you have the option of choosing a black or a white one. And then I'll probably also have the decal sold separately in case you wanna paint your egg or design it a total different color and then still apply the decal because I think it's so fitting for the Easter season with this scripture on it. Probably sounds kind of confusing here, but hopefully it will make sense in my listing.
here I'm gonna decorate my own egg and I'll probably go with a grain sack stripe. Here I'm taking Christmas ornaments and turning them into a spring decoration by gluing some green moss onto them. I think a group of three will look great in a tray, maybe along with something taller like flowers or a plant. This bunny jar was previously painted and you can actually get this stencil on the Etsy shop if you're interested in making a jar like this. We also have the bunny decals available like this in black or white. So the last thing I have for this video is again an item that is available on the Etsy shop. We have this beautiful piece of wood out in the shop and I told John it would make such a pretty tray, just a small wooden tray. Uh, with little handles on each side uh, just to use to display something, either a candle or a plant, or it could be used for other things too. This wood was left over from the vanity top that we made for the shop, the Etsy shop. Um, it's a nice, probably about two inch thick piece of wood, so it'll definitely make a nice heavy duty little tray. I just love the color of the wood and I ended up staining it with an aged oak stain. Turned out so pretty. There is a slight difference. The ones that we are planning on selling on the Etsy shop will have a rounded bottom edge, uh, the same as the top edge is. And this is also something that would be really easy for you guys to just make yourself. You know, just cut a piece of wood to a rectangle shape and then add those handles. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully I gave you some mood to maybe decorate for spring. To me that just brings so much cheer into my home if I can put some greens and blues and spring colors in here. As always I hope your day is going great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!